In this session, we will be having a look at CSS and images and how to use them in SAP UI5 application. So let's just see the agenda for this session. First I will cover the overview of CSS and then there will be three methods using how to use CSS in our SAP UI5 program that is external style sheet, internal style sheet and using Chrome tools itself. Then I will just use how to use images and icons in SAP UI5. I will conclude the session by given, giving an example on this itself. So here is the overview of CSS. So exactly what is CSS? CSS means for cascading style sheets and it is used for presentation purposes and all. Mainly it is used for styling purpose of a web page and here it describes how HTML elements should be displayed. So basically there are three ways of implementing CSS in SAP UI5 application. First is to external style sheet that is we, are, we will be creating separate CSS file for this and then there is this internal style sheet we won't be creating any other file but we will be um, instantiating our CSS in our particular view or index.html page itself and then the third method is to use chrome tools. Moving on to the next slide here I have mentioned the way external style sheets how to implement CSS in using external style sheets that is we are creating a separate CSS file for this and we are maintaining all the style in this separate CSS file itself. So here why are we using this? So basically if we have a lot of coding so we have lot of controls so we have to change all these controls CSS so we will be creating a separate CSS file and the look entire look of the application can be just changed using this simple file itself. So for to create this file we have to follow three steps. First is to create a simple folder in, in the web content named as CSS itself and then to create a separate CSS file and that we have to place that CSS file in the CSS folder itself and when that is done we have to um, give the path for the CSS file in the index file or the manifest.json file itself. So this is done. Now come the internal style sheet. Here we won't be creating any external other um, style sheets itself. We will be generally used to style particular element. Here we will not be creating any separate file. The styling is done within the view itself. So here is an example here. Like if we are using index.html page or view itself. So if we have created a button and that uh, on reference of that button we will just create the example here like here we have used the style and type is text slash CSS itself. Now on the basis of the ID of the button we are mentioning its color, font size, background, width and height and we have ended our style tag here. So basically this was an example on how to use internal style sheets. So the third third way is used to using chrome tools. So here you could see this is a table and this is the field name this is the table header here and I have changed the color using chrome tools. So I have mentioned this particular here and if I just mention this I have changed the color of this particular header here and changed, to, changed it to red. So we could copy this particular portion of code from here to our CSS file external CSS file. So basically why we are using this it is used to add style for particular section of the screen. So the particular section is this we have to we are adding styles and then the style is added with the inspect element section of the chrome developer tools. So this is the chrome developer tools as it is and then it is really helpful as it helps to style an element in the runtime. So here in this runtime itself we are using this chrome tools to change the style of the element. Moving to the next slide here. Here we are using images and icons in SAP UI5. So images are this. So there are three format that is supported by SAP, UI, SAP Web ID that is PNG, GPG and GIF files. These formats are used uh, consistently in our browsers. So images are stored in a separate folder name that is images or image something like this. You could use your own name for this purpose. Here I have used as images itself and we have to store this image folder in the web app or web content. Now there are icons SAP has already supported SAP icons and this is SAP icon colon slash slash this protocol supports the use of icons 
in our application based on our icon font concept something like this and then SAP UI 5 provides this SAP UI core icon control. So this control is a set of predefined icons which are available in our SAP UI core icon pool. So in the first or the second video that I have already shown icon explorer there you can see all the predefined icons that SAP UI 5 is providing. Now in the next slide we will just see the example for this. So th there are these steps here. So the first step is to create the new SAP UI 5 project and once this is done we will create a new view or the controller plus we will also use this CSS folder since we will be maintaining our CSS file in the CSS folder. So these three are these three folders are created. Now we will create a CSS file and place it place it into, into the CSS folder and then do the styling in this CSS file itself. And when that is done we have to give the reference to the CSS file in the index.html file. So all these steps have been explained and let us see all these steps practically. Here we will be taking a look at how to implement CSS in SAP UI5 application. So the first method would be internal style sheet. So we will be applying CSS internally in the code itself. So this is my project here, new project. We haven't coded anything in this particular project. This is a fresh project that we have already created. So within the, this index.html file, we will be writing some code in the script tag. I will be just removing this portion here. We won't be coding anything in the view or something else. We will be just using this index.html file. So here in the script, we will be adding a button and we will be applying the CSS on the button. So thereby we will be just focusing on the concept here, how to implement CSS. That's it. We won't be doing any fancy stuff. Just we would be adding a button and on the button we will be adding the CSS. So I have this code with me. I will just copy it. Okay. So here we could see there is a variable named as button and the control we are using is sap.ui.comments.button so we could also use sap.m.button but here I am just using sap.ui.comments so here whenever I have used this different library I have to mention here it also so I will just add sapui.comments so we have mentioned it here and this is a property that is text the click me and then the press event is here on the press of the button this alert will be pop, pop up and we have placed this button on the content that we have defined here okay let's just save this and run this application so here it is so here a click me button is appearing here so when I click on it there is this alert function so we would be appear, uh, applying CSS let's just make this buttons width and height and a color also different so to apply CSS first method is to apply it, it internally we would be writing a script just here itself within the head so for that I will just copy it from here So now I have to write here. Now I have to start the style tag here. Here I will just write type equals to text CSS. So we are defining here that this is that of the type CSS. Fine. Now I will just paste it here. I have copied this portion. So here we could see the ID of the button is button ID and based on this itself we are providing this style here. Ha hash will be provided here and we have set the CSS here. So the font family is Arial, font size is 14 pixel, background color would be yellow, the width would be this and height would be this. 
so we have applied internally the CSS I will just save this and it would work so the click me button would be appearing in yellow and width and the height would be different so here it is so the width and height of the button is bit large and the color is yellow so CSS is applied so this was the first method that is to implement CSS internally now we would see another method that is to create another file that is CS within the CSS folder that is style.css so we will be writing our code within this this file so let me just remove this code from here or just I will just comment it so let it be now what we have to do we have to write a code for this and that would be button dot add style class and within this I have to provide a ID that it would be provided here so let me just copy it from here this is my button okay so this is the style that we are intending to apply on the button so we have to provide this name there add style class add style class my button I have to add the codes here so that's done so this was the second technique that is to place the styling that is the CSS script in an under file that is style.css so everything is fine now the width of the button would be I say let's change it to 500 the height would be 150 and the background color would be blue I am just saving it and now if I just run the width and the height would, would be different so there is some error I suppose adds ok so there is this class should be capital I suppose yeah now let's just run it again so we saw the background color was blue let me just load it again and the width and the height of was now it is now changed so that's it there were two techniques here and the third one would be to change the color or change the CSS in the CS in the Chrome development tool fine so I am just removing this so one more thing I just forgot to mention was if we are providing separate CSS file here so we have to provide the path for this style.css and that we do with the help of this particular line so we are providing we are setting the type as text slash CSS and we have provided the path here that is in the folder CSS we have the style.css file here and we could also mention the same here in the manifest.json file here we could see the resources and here we are setting the CSS and we have provided the path here within this CSS and style.css here so I suppose that is fine here now the third one would be to provide styling dynamically while on the runtime we could see the style and that is through Chrome development tools if I just right click and go to inspect now if I just inspect this element that is this button I am just getting this so here if I just change change this values so it would appear here on the button itself 300 pixel so it is working fine and here also we could 
provide this height to 70 pixel okay and the background color I should there is a cross across the background color I don't know why it is happening but this way it's it should work I have to write important in front of this then it would work charmingly so these were the three techniques how to use CSS within an SAP UI5 application so I hope you have learned and understood all these techniques so that's it for this video thanks for watching